when we moved here 14 years ago, it was in fairly good shape. And I think whoever was here before actually did put a plan together. Um, it was over the years that the two-tier deck that we had started to really break down and to the point where really there were holes in it. <laughs> so we definitely uh, knew that it was time to put this on the list of a project that needed some attention. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things you're weighing with all the other list of items that you want to do. We also had a lot of grass, probably three quarter of the backyard was grass and I'd say 50% of that at least wasn't very happy. My daughter who had a trampoline back there, I thought eventually she's going to outgrow this and when that time comes, we'll prioritize the backyard and that's what happened last year. What I wanted to do is get rid of as much grass as possible, which sounds like a, a small thing, but I wanted something that sort of as an overarching priority. Fletcher really wants to get in on this. You have something to say perhaps? The overarching goal was to create something that was much like our interior, which is open concept, super friendly, like you can navigate and circulate from one space to the other and that it'd be really easy to maintain, but that would have a lot of longevity to it. This will probably be you know, an investment that we enjoy for a long, long time. So we wanted to make sure those elements were considered and they were when we selected our materials. One of the things I love is as soon as you open up the double doors that you have immediate access to the upper deck and some great seating. It doesn't really get a lot of light, so you can actually enjoy it and not worry about getting so much sun. What I wanted to do, which was I think one of the things that I love most about this design, is have a really wide staircase. And that's why we incorporated a 12 foot width, which is kind of unusual. Certainly you don't need 12 feet to go down the stairs. <laughs> but it's got a great impact to it. So I really love the white riser, and that's actually a composite material. So I used the gray composite on the surface, and then the risers, I used a separate composite material that's white. So I use that white there, and then you'll see it on the flower boxes as well. And in fact, in addition to the deck and the stairs being composite, we also changed the gate and the doors to a different composite material in black. And it kind of extends between the garage to the brick of the house, so it reduces that break that you would normally get. We did the layout of the furniture before proceeding with the stone, which is a huge recommendation on my part, whether it be outside and of course inside the same thing, and just really mitigates the risk of being disappointed afterwards. We did about 10 years ago invest in some teak, and I love, love teak, and you'll see bits and pieces here, but we knew that we weren't gonna power wash it every year, and so we decided, you know what, maybe in small doses, and went ahead with a metal material instead something that we can keep outside because although we have a garage, this is a lot of furniture to be storing and super comfortable. And I think that's really important that the depth is really good so you can't really snuggle up and get cozy or take a snooze. We wanted to have a dining area, although we're only a family of three, except for Fletcher makes four. He, we don't give him a seat at the table, although he I think he would like that. Um, but I didn't want it to be like a concrete jungle. And so what I incorporated in the layout is some AstroTurf. We line it up with the stairs at 12 feet so that it continues down the stairs and then you start to see some AstroTurf every couple of rows of stone. So that kind of worked out. The last couple of years, because the state of the backyard was really deteriorating, we really didn't use it very much at all. And now I love it. I just can't wait to get home. Sometimes I will work from out here. We'll have dinner out here whenever we can. This is our cottage. This is it. The backyard really needed to get done. We had put it off for some time. And um, yeah, I'm really excited that we did.